Robert Kiyosaki tells the story of his two dads in his childhood. His own father and the father of his best friend. While he loved both, they were very different when it came to dealing with finances. The summary on Blinkist starts with the idea that many of us are too afraid of being branded as a weirdo in order to exit the rat race. We let the two main emotions everyone has around money dominate our decisions, fear and greed. That's why we still stick to the outdated man to go to school, go to college, get a job, play it safe. When in reality no job is safe anymore. For example, when you get a raise at your job. A wise choice would be to invest the extra money in something that builds wealth like stocks or bonds, which has medium to high risk, but also a very high reward. Maybe you find a good fund with a 60% chance to double your money within a year, but a 40% chance of losing it all. However, most likely your fear of losing the money altogether will keep you from doing so. But when your greed takes over, you might then spend the extra money on an improved lifestyle, like buying a car, and the payments eat up the money. This way you're guaranteed to lose 100%. This already gives you a glimpse of how important it is to educate yourself financially. Since we receive no financial education in school or college, sadly, this is entirely up to you. Look around and you'll see plenty of financially ignorant people in your own life. Just take a look at local politicians. Is their city in debt? Your mayor might be a great mayor, but unfortunately, no one ever taught him how to deal with money. For the same reason 38% of Americans don't save anything for their retirement. The only way for you to counteract this is to start now. Today is the youngest you'll ever be, so take a close look at what you can and can't afford. This way you'll be able to set realistic financial goals, even if it means waiting a few more years for that shiny new BMW. Next, adopt the mindset of work to learn instead of work to earn. Take a job in a field you have no clue about, such as sales customer service or communications, to develop new skills, you never know what they might be good for. Set aside 5% of your income each month to buy books, courses and attend seminars on personal finance to start building your financial IQ. The first step towards building wealth lies in the mindset of managing risks, instead of avoiding them and learning about investments will teach you that it's better to not play it safe, because that always means missing out on big potential rewards. Don't start big. Just set aside a small amount, like $1,000 or even $100, and invest it in stocks, bonds, or even tax lien certificates. Treat the money as if it's gone forever and you'll worry less about losing it. As soon as you start your journey towards wealth, you'll realize that it'll be quite a long one. That's why it's important to stay motivated. Kiyosaki suggests creating an I want and an I don't want list, with items like, I want to retire at age 50 or I don't want to end up like my broke uncle. Another idea is to pay yourself first each month. Take the portion of your salary you want to spend on stocks or your financial education, invest it and pay your bills afterwards. It'll create pressure to be creative in making money and show you what you can afford. Use your money to acquire assets instead of liabilities. Assets are stocks, bonds, real estate that you rent out, Royalties, for example from music and anything that generates money and increases in value over time. Liabilities can be cars or electronics with maintenance costs and monthly payments, a house with a mortgage, and of course debt, basically anything that takes money out of your pocket each month. There's no rush. Just stay at your full-time job and mind your own business. In this case, your job is what pays the bills and your business is what makes you wealthy. Build your business on the side and use it to invest in assets until your assets eventually become the main source of your income. You can even file a corporation to be taxed only after you've earned and invested, instead of being taxed before investing as an employee and trying to live off what's left. The most important thing is that you start today. You are your own biggest asset, so the first thing you should put some money into is yourself. Please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates.